Seriously, look at this life hack. Look at this life hack. Hello. Today we're packing for Brazil. And, and also something else very, very exciting is going to happen today. Stefan is going to cook for me for the very first time in the... How long do we know each other? Five and a half years, something like that. He never cooked for me. I've just been editing today and I am starving Marvin. <laughs> if you watch Temptation Island, then that's really wrong to say. Anyways, let's make a nice salad. Also, what's your opinion on this brown lipstick? I just posted a picture on Instagram. I don't, this, is, this, this version is way too shiny anyway. I feel like really a 90s girl. I wore this in the 90s, like with a black eyeliner around it. Like who's with me? Who wore the black eyeliner with the brown lipstick? Am I the only one who's that old or are they more? Let me know it down in the comments below or just put a thumbs up, whatever you like. Yeah, I don't know. Also way, way too much bronzer. Oh gosh, I just opened up the fridge. Stefan's going to cook from scratch, yes, but he's not going to cook cut his own onions. What is this? What is <laughs> wow. All pre-cut vegetables and mushies, mushrooms and nochi. So this is a salad that I made. It's just lettuce with some uh, sun-dried tomatoes as you can see in here. A little bit of pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds and yada 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 and some avocado but that's green so it's it's like a little chameleon and then I tossed in some falafel and a falafel, falafel, falafel is nice and toasty just the way I like it because I actually really don't like salads because they're cold and I'm always cold below 28 degrees or something that's why I'm wearing this blanket cape I didn't talk you through our schedule yet because some things changed last minute I didn't have a stopover anymore in Madrid because it was like really long, I would arrive in Madrid at 11 a.m. Was it 11 a.m.? No, it was like 1.30 p.m. But then I would have to wait until like 9 p.m. in the evening to leave for Sao Paulo. So they switched that up and now we're flying through Rome, which is cool, but we have a one hour stopover. And if you watch my vlogs for a longer period of time, you know that might be a problem. I never experienced it, but I hope to never experience it. And we will be flying oh by the way the flight schedule is insane i have never experienced this so we will be flying in the evening tomorrow at around 7 p.m we will be flying to rome and then we will arrive there at 9 p.m then we have like one hour stopover and at 10 p.m we are flying to sao paulo that's an 11 hour flight when we arrive in sao paulo it will be 5 a.m in the morning and we have to wait for a domestic flight until 10 a.m. so that's like five hours which is good because I guess you have to you know uh, take your luggage again and then check it in and blah 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 and I actually love long travels I don't know it just gives me a sense of adventure to be in an airplane and like taking all those flights and everything but at the same time I've never experienced like such a long journey and I hope you know I will survive <laughs> I will survive! <laughs> ooh, ooh. The trip is about ecotourism and we will be staying in an eco lodge. Let me just show you because it's awesome. So this is a place, Arara's Eco Lodge, and it has massively awesome reviews on TripAdvisor. I really, really liked what I saw there. There are so many pretty birds that you can see and I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, uh. Look, Pantanal Eco Lodge. Let me like it like eh? no I don't want this on my timeline I just want to like okay and then look they have like caimans and what is this like jaguars they have jaguars and also let me see well lots and lots of pretty birds and Oh, this is going to be so awesome. I just checked the trip schedule and it's awesome because we're going to visit different, um, I don't know, it's not national parks, but different nature areas in Brazil, amongst others Pantanal. It's one of the uh, largest tropical wetlands in the world. And also we are going to, let me see, Pantanal, Pantanal, and then Chapada dos Guimares. Chapada dos Guimares National Park. 
<laughs> wow, that's so wrong. I'm sorry if I'm insulting anyone, I don't mean to. We're going to walk the trail of waterfalls. I'm so excited. And then a cliff lookout, and we're going to Bom Bomjar. Why am I speaking with a French accent? Bomjardin. Why? Why? I need to practice my Portuguese, man. I know obrigado, obrigada. I think obrigado is for men, obrigada is for women. And I know si. No, it's not si. Shit. I have to. I have to work on my Portuguese, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just filming the uh, the road back to India episode for this Sunday, but this is like the first time Stefan ever cooked for me, and he made this. So this is gnocchi with. You made the sauce yourself, right? Yeah. Yep. He made the sauce himself with the mushrooms and what else? Uh, what else? Uh, I see some peppers. Did you did you cut those yourself? Really? You cut up the pepper? Oh, he really loves me. Okay, let me try it on camera. I don't, I, I think I only ate gnocchi once in my life. Let me try. Very tasty. Only needs a little bit salt for my taste, but I like, I really like salty food. So I'll just add in some salt, but it's pretty good, baby. Good job. Thank you. The lies, the lies. He did not cut the pepper himself, but how did you buy it? Like, was it in the mushrooms? Ah, oh, okay, you little sneak. But it still tastes good, I don't care. 9 p.m. Wednesday, 13th of April, and it's time to pack for Brazil. I have no idea what to bring with me. I don't even know what kind of suitcase to bring with me because we're basically going to be traveling every single day. So I guess my backpack would be best, but at the same time, it's a week, man. I need clothes. Mm, says the girl who traveled for like three months out of one backpack. But it's a week. Okay, I'll see what I will do. Okay, I have decided I'm not going to be ridiculous. I'm just going to take the backpack and also I can bring this little suitcase carry-on uh, luggage. So just <laughs> slap me <laughs> because <laughs> I'm being ridiculous. It's just a week. I've lived out of this backpack for three months, four months and it was fine. All right, I think I have everything. Outfits and everything over here. This will be my carry-on luggage and then we have uh, This is also for carry-on luggage. Well, not the the pink one, but uh, over here is my flight outfit Seriously look at this life hack look at this life hack boom I just put the clothes in like vertical and I posted this life hack on my Facebook. I really, really love it. I've, this is the first time I tried it out. And I actually have lots and lots of space left. Look at this. Yeah, it's empty. It's empty. And also over here, I have lots of space. This is for my laptop tomorrow. And over here, I have some clothes and some underwear just in case my luggage doesn't make it through Rome. We're going to Brazil tomorrow. If you're just as excited as I am, put a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button and then you'll see the travel vlogs in Brazil. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.